Good morning, everyone. Um, Your Excellency, President Paul Kidami, um, ministers and distinguished delegates all, ministers of Barbados, pub distinguished public servants and guests all. It is my pleasure, Mr. President, to welcome you to Barbados formally and for us to continue in the discussions for the deepening of relationships between our two countries. Um, this is historic for us. We have watched on from far as you took a country challenged at its very core and have literally forged it into being one of the leading developing countries in the world that has literally put development at the center of your mission over the course of the last two decades. It has not gone unnoticed. We have watched from this part of the world and we ourselves are aware of the challenges because we too come from a people whose existence has been forged in the crucibles of tribulations and struggle. And therefore, resilience for us has been one of the most important attributes when coupled also with innovation and aspirations. I am satisfied that the platform for deep friendship is very much there. And if I had any doubt, it is anchored perhaps by our love of cricket. And that in and of itself, Mr. President, makes you an honorary Barbadian. <laughs> and, and, and after this session, I think we shall have the pleasure of meeting with our own um, national hero, the right excellent Sir Gary Sobers, as well as the greatest opening batsman pair that the world has ever seen in Gordon Greenwich and Desmond Haynes, or Sir, Sir Gordon, as we would call him now, and the most honorable Desmond Haynes. Um, having said that, we face a lot of common challenges together, and therefore the ability for our two sides to have started meeting and for us to have had the bilateral this morning allows me to be able to share with the public that I'm satisfied that both on individual development issues as well as those related to our regions and continent in your respect and our region in, with respect to us, that the platform for cooperation and investment is huge and it is up to us now to make it real. At the same time, I believe that we both have a critical voice on the matters that are affecting the world in which we live and I refer specifically to the existential crisis, the climate crisis, that is affecting Africa as much as it is affecting the Caribbean in real ways. And that is why we've changed our narrative from talking simply about small island developing states to talking about those countries between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, because quite frankly, the horse has already bolted from the stables. The cooperation that is needed to address issues of climate mitigation and adaptation, but in particular financing, climate financing and climate justice, require our joint voices if we are going to see any kind of progress in this area. In addition to that, our regions are both suffering from the consequences of war, and in particular the consequences of the war in Ukraine that have led to a disproportionate impact on pricing with respect to food and fuel. And we recognize that even as we shield our populations as far as we can, that we must ensure that future generations do not face this moment again. And therefore, the capacity for increased production within our regions becomes even all the more critical, given the fact that, regrettably, too much of what we use and rely upon comes from regions that have circumstances that may be beyond our control, and therefore our citizens become unwitting victims to the matters that they ought not to be a victim of. We are aware of your commitment to South-South cooperation, and even without knowing what has been discussed here, we want to be able to also put on the table, ministers, the issue of biotechnology and ICT and in a meaningful way, and also to ensure that, um, well, I'll share when we come back to the press conference, some of the things that we believe can happen. And then, of course, there are other global issues that are of concern to us that impact. I referred to the war in Ukraine. I referred to the humanitarian crisis in, on the African continent in Tigray. 
that regrettably is not receiving the global attention that it ought to in our view, just as the crisis in Yemen and Afghanistan equally seem not to be fully in front of there. But having said that, we are equally conscious of the fact that the war in Ukraine has disproportionate consequences on the global society and the global economy, and largely because of the, 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 the potential for nuclear um, activity, which none of us want at all. And therefore, we hope that good sense can prevail and that there can be a dignified way to bring an end to conflict that can only hurt the majority of the global population. Um, I referred to the issue of cricket and your love for it, and I hope that that personal love can become something we have committed to making cricket and road tennis industries, and therefore we hope that we can work with Rwanda on both topics in order to be able to expand the level of participation in Rwanda, but also in order for us to be able to see perhaps not just uh, IPL, but in the future an APL or an ACL, an African Cricket League, that can be boosted primarily by the West Indies as well as Rwanda, South Africa, and those other countries in Africa that already um, claim cricket as one of their own. And then, of course, there is the very real issue of investment. We all have social security schemes and pension funds that are looking to diversify their investments. We do not believe that the trajectory should only be North Atlantic, but that it should also be across here. So with those few references to topics um, that I believe will engage both of our sides on this Easter Saturday, um, we are conscious that with Easter Sunday comes hope and comes the, the sense of renewal. And therefore, I think if ever there was a time for us to be meeting, now is a propitious time for that sense of hope and renewal and, and the building of what we can do as two countries, but also representative of two regions. Mr. President, please. Thank you. Right Honorable Mia Motley, Prime Minister of Barbados, uh, Honorable Ministers, uh, um, I want to start by thanking you uh, for your kind words of uh, welcome. We feel very fortunate to be able to pay you this official visit, the first at this level from our country. There are so many factors that make this uh, an opportune moment to steer a fresh sense of purpose in uh, the bilateral relationship between uh, countries and uh, more broadly between the Caribbean and our continent of Africa. Our common engagements in uh, COP in the Commonwealth and the Organization of African, Caribbean, and Pacific States are but uh, a few forums where closer coordination between the Caribbean and Africa would be of enormous uh, benefit, and that creates the framework for us really f between Rwanda and Barbados to deepen our ties and uh, have uh, uh, more meaningful uh, cooperation. Uh, but it also just makes uh, good sense. We are separated by a big ocean, but uh, we share some common history. Uh, just as importantly for us, mm -hmm. there is a great deal to learn uh, from the development trajectory of this region and Barbados in particular. The way Barbados has been able to uh, has been able to show a high, ensure a high standard of living for its uh, people is uh, both admirable and uh, inspiring. This is exactly the trajectory that Rwanda intends to follow over the next uh, decades. 
So I would like to partner with the Barbados uh, and, our, and make our interactions both more frequent and uh, more concrete. I think uh, most important areas uh, where we can forge cooperation, uh, you have uh, raised them, and we just need to move forward and even act with the speed where we can. And beyond all that, this is just a wonderful, beautiful country which we feel very fortunate to have the privilege to discover. And uh, I promise you, uh, in not too distant future, we should be visiting uh, once again and many more times after. So, Prime Minister, uh, I thank you and your government, and uh, we are looking forward to these talks today uh, and more so closer collaboration going forward. So, and I hope uh, to see you soon in our country uh, as uh, we extended an invitation to you to attend the Chogam, which at this time is going to take place in June. So you would be most welcome. And uh, But even before you come, our teams should be working and uh, reaching out to each other to see what we can do uh, based on what we have discussed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, members of the media. Uh, we'll ask you to withdraw at this stage so that we may proceed with the additional discussions. Thank you. Mm, I want